Today's video topic is about Microsoft PowerPoint and specifically how to create an interesting effect with animations. Uh, the basic idea is going to be that we want to be able to affect the, uh, the visibility of something by pushing a button. Uh, let me give you a couple examples of this. If you had a map, for example, you might want to be able to push a button and show all the restaurants, push a different button and show all the subway stations, and push a different button and show all the hospitals. So you can see what I've done here is I've created a sequence of three buttons, one each for the subway stations, the restaurants, and the hospitals. And if I push one, maybe it makes the thing up here, or maybe it makes the thing disappear, right? So here I am uh, showing and hiding hospitals, restaurants, and subway stations by pushing these buttons. Or as another example, maybe I have a diagram, and I want to be able to show or hide different parts of the diagram. So maybe I'm going to talk about the top of the Venn diagram, or the overlap between these two circles, or turn that circle off and turn a different one on, and then back and forth and back and forth. And so with with animations, we can actually create something where we have complete control over what shows and what hides at any given point in time. We can just do a little give or take. Let's try this out in real life. What we'll need is a slide with a couple of things on it to show or hide those things. Uh, I'll go ahead and put pictures on here um, because maybe we'll talk about one picture or the other or both. So I'll insert a couple of pictures, so maybe the desert and the lighthouse, for example. And then just you know put one over on the side and one over on the other side. And the first part of this is we need animations to tell these things to both appear and disappear. So we click the image on the left, go to the animations tab up at the top of the screen, and we need to at first tell it to appear. So here's animations and there's appear. And then the second part is we need to add a complementary animation. So over towards the right, you'll see a button that says Add Animation. I click on Add Animation and choose to add the Disappear animation. So now it can go both ways. It can both appear and disappear. And you could choose a different animation for appearing and disappearing, like fading or those sorts of things. But now I'm going to click the one on the right and do the exact same thing. Click on the image, uh, choose the Appear animation to make it appear at first, and then Add Animation, and then also Disappear. Okay. The next part is we need the controls. We need buttons of some kind. So I'll just go up to the Insert tab at the top of the screen and uh, maybe add a couple of circles, for example. Okay, so these buttons have been added, and the next thing we need to do, this next part isn't required, but it makes your life a lot easier. If you can imagine, PowerPoint right now just thinks uh, there's a couple of circles there, and it's going to be very hard to tell the difference between the left circle and the right circle. So what we're going to do is actually open uh, a panel that allows us to name these things. So I'll click over here on the left button, choose the selection pane button, and as you can see on the selection pane, this is just called oval 5. So it would be very hard for me to pick out oval 5 and oval 6. I'll just double click on that and just call it like the left button or something like that. Something easier to recognize later on down the line. And again, click on the right oval. Uh, double click on oval 6 and just call it right button. Again, it's not important what they're called. It's just a lot easier once you know what they're named to go back and point at them later on. Okay, so now we have animations, and we have the buttons for those animations, and what we want to be able to do is control that. So we'll click the image on the left, go to the animations panel, and as you can see over on the right, there's a button called Animation Pane, and with that you can actually see, okay, there are two animations applied to that picture over on the left. And interestingly, there's a button up at the top of the screen underneath the Animation Pane that says Trigger, and I'll say, when I click on the left button, 
let's trigger those animations. So you can see why we named that left button. It makes life a lot easier. Let's repeat. We go to the right side image. We go to trigger. On click of right button. Makes our life a lot easier when we name that thing. And now, instead of just clicking randomly, specifically, when we click the left button and the right button, the animation should happen. So again, click the left button, the thing shows up. Click the right button, the thing shows up. Click the right button, the thing disappears. Back and forth, back and forth. That's our effect. Thanks, everybody, and be wonderful at what you do.